Marcus Aurelius was the emperor of Rome from 161 AD to 180 AD. And Marcus Aurelius's book, Meditations, is actually a collection of books or meditations about Stoic philosophy. A great quote by Marcus Aurelius, which encapsulates most of the ideas of Stoicism, is, uh, quote, put an end once and for all to this discussion of what a good man should be and be one. Go be the change you want to see in the world. You know, we can talk about, like I talked about in the last video, what is piety? We can talk about that forever, but we know for a fact you can never find an answer and we can never put a cap on that question. And so what is so much more important is our actual actions. Marcus Aurelius also talks a great deal about death and how death should be welcomed the same way that life is welcomed, which speaks volumes and should actually make more sense than what it does to, to people as life and death are two sides of the same coin, two wings of the same bird. There is a great importance at being at peace with death and a lot of people don't want to even acknowledge it because it makes a lot of anxiety for people. People don't want to talk about death. Um, it is a very rude thing to talk about death in many parts of the world. And in other parts of the world, it's actually it's pretty open, pretty open to talk about death. It is said in the book of Proverbs that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And the fear of God, what is said in Proverbs, can be many things. It could be the reality of our own mortality, the fact that we are finite, the fact that we are not the greatest things uh, in, in existence, that there is a higher power above us, although we may not be able to comprehend it. And upon understanding these truths, well, then is when we start to develop wisdom. Every single breath we take leads us a step closer to death. If you want to even encapsulate the experience of death, just feel how you feel with every single exhale. It is this relief, it is this letting go. And life is like that inhale, you know? We are here today and gone tomorrow. Fear of God, fear of the unknown metaphysical force which binds everything together somehow and doesn't glitch. There's no errors in the code here. All of it hangs by that thread. And that thread, we call it God. And we develop wisdom once we accept these things because suddenly we're, we're conscious of reality. We're conscious of our existence and our own selves. Not our material selves, right? Not like, well, well, today I had this for lunch. Like, no, 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 much more than that. Once we get past that material view of life, we begin to understand what life is actually about. And that can be absolutely terrifying for people, which is why it's much easier to just maybe stare at your phone or something like that. I don't blame people, honestly. Are we not all alone on this ship? That terrifies people. And Marcus Aurelius said, quote, you embarked, you set sail, you made port. Go ashore now. Imagine having this attitude towards some of the biggest grievances in life, having a neutral and a non-dual approach. Much easier said than done, especially because we humans are very attached to, to things. And when things happen, well, you know, it changes our complete reality. To be at complete peace with reality and what happens in this life. Even according to nature, right? An animal may mourn if they see their young pups or their young cubs die in some way, but they move on. Many people yearn for this, having such a level of peace with death and understanding that it is part of a process, but when push comes to shove, they really regret, they regretted the fact that they really were seeking the answer in the first place. At least at first. That is certainly how I felt upon understanding a lot of this stuff with Eastern philosophy, Stoic philosophy, because wow, thinking about <laughs> immortality and death so much can really do a number on you. But when you get out the other side, you're actually able to roam about the cabin pretty freely. It's knowledge in life that we can at least afford to listen to just a little bit. So I'd also like to talk about the 
simplicity that comes with the philosophy of the Stoics. We live in very complex times, technologically advanced times, and um, a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people turn to Stoicism, turn to mindfulness, turn to a lot of um, different philosophies that embrace this kind of approach um, that is more so based on simplicity instead of what do I have to add the, to the equation to become better instead going the simplistic route. Marcus suggests that it's not only foolish for us to take pride, Marcus suggests that it's pretty foolish to act in, you know, striving and self-interest and taking credit, right, similar to what Lao Tzu says, but it is much wiser to act in simplicity based on our own realities. In book 12, quote, the pride that prides itself on freedom from pride is the hardest of all to bear. That is one quote. That is quite a quote. I'm going to say it again. The pride that prides itself on freedom from pride is the hardest of all to bear. You know, it's like when you have kind of renounced, so to speak, the physical world, and maybe like, for, like you'll see a lot of people who are like, quote unquote, like spiritual, and they'll take a lot of pride in the fact that they don't have any pride, which completely is like, you know, so when you look at people like these sages and mystics and like Sri Ramakrishna, these folks who have like renounced everything, there is nothing there. There is no pride. There is no attachment. There's no feeling for it. It just simply is, right? So, you know, that is a quite a task for humans to get rid of the pride that prides itself on the freedom from pride. We have to put down our weapons, figuratively speaking. Understanding our place in the universe and understanding that we're temporary blips, and maybe then at least we can embrace a little bit of simplicity. Do we not create most of our own problems with all this trying to solve issues and everything? We're making things more complicated on our own, on our own time. My point is that there is a great deal of serenity and peace with completely surrendering yourself even <laughs> the pride giving up the pride that you have surrendered your pride right 